Hello and welcome back to 16 Years in Alkyl 3. You find me nowhere near Edinburgh. Um, yeah, I, I'm nowhere near uh, Edinburgh at the moment. Well, I'm you know I don't like cities. I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, it was good to go there, but anyway, I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, I was going to do a cooking um, Facebook Live until I ended up trying to get the uh, gas bottle out and realised I haven't got enough gas. It's you know it's going out, so I've got to go and get a new gas bottle. And then I'm going to do it. So uh, the bit should hold up until tomorrow. So hopefully I'll do it tomorrow. Uh, I need to go do something. I'm not planning. I'm not telling my plans. Otherwise I'll end up broken down on the road. Or you know being mauled by sheep or something like that. But yeah apologies for not doing the Facebook live. Um, yeah. Uh, Edinburgh. It's, it's a truly lovely place. When people like cities. I don't like cities. They're too busy. They're just so busy. It drives me up the wall. You know, there's, you know, when you're driving through it, there's traffic lights every 150 yards, speed cameras even closer than that. And let me show you what speed. Excuse me. I've been drinking the tenants. Oh, and by the way, tenants up here is not the uh, tenants like uh, super strength stuff. It's like a Foster's or something like that. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, and then people just look so uncharismatic. Uh, uh, yeah, charismatic. No charisma. You know, people don't really want to talk. They don't smile. You know, everybody's in their own heads. And driving around it is just absolutely bonkers. And then you, you, every time that you're coming up, you know, a road or you try and turn somewhere or, you know, you're doing something, you end up turning down some road that ends up in complete peril. Um, yeah, it's just, oh, it's just out of this world. And I can't stand it. You know, I really, really cannot, you know, that's just me. You know, I grew up in a place where if you're parked behind five cars, it's a traffic jam. You know, not, you know, going down, you go down roads and they're completely open roads, but 30 mile an hour. You know, dual carriageway either side, completely split off, 30 mile an hour. And then, ooh, if you're lucky, getting up to 40 mile an hour. Ooh. And then you're on another road that's completely high-sided, you know, with everything going on about it. Oh, yeah, you can do 50 mile an hour down here. What? What? So yeah, i done my uh, bits in Edinburgh. I was there for less than an hour. One of the main bits is the price of parking. I found one of the cheaper places to park, um, which weren't on the road. If you parked on the road, it's between six and seven pounds um, per hour. And that's up to that hour. So if you go over that hour, you're paying, you know, 12, 14 pounds for up to the next hour. And the place I was was um, four pound 95. And that was the cheapest. Excuse the squeaking in my hearing aids. Um, yeah, and it was uh, one of the first places I've ever gone into a multi-storey car park at the top and come out at the bottom. Figure that one out. But it was mad, you know, it's just one of the things. And then, yeah, it's the hair-raising point of trying to get out of it. And then, of course, I went to Morrison's to get my bits to do what I was meant to do, but I'm going to have to do tomorrow. One of those things, you know, I, I must stop trying to say, yeah, I will do this later. Because every time I try and do that, something just goes, no, just no. But the drive, after you get out of Edinburgh, fair enough, the M90 um, is a motorway, it's a motorway. And then I got to north of Perth. I don't. I still don't even know where I am at the moment. I don't even know what county I'm in. I don't know the name of the place. Uh, I was in somewhere else, uh, but they don't accept William, but this place did, which is, you know, fine by me. But there was one amazing bit where you're coming down this arrow straight road and these trees that were like some of the tallest trees and the thickest trees i've ever seen and you just see all the you know the ambers and the golds and the yellows and the reds and there were just literally a wall of them and it it looks really really cool yeah it does get annoying if you ever wonder if that ever gets annoying believe me it gets really annoying um but yeah so here i am at this uh, lovely campsite the owner's you know all right I've uh, just been chatting to uh, a couple that come from Stirling. Uh, they're in a tent over there and it's quite windy, so I do feel sorry for them, but they look quite happy. They gave me lots of uh, information about going out to the islands over on the west. Excuse me. I must stop burping on camera, it's just so rude. Um, yeah, islands on the west. So, you know, I've got what I need to do, or I think I need to do. I'm not going to tell you guys what I'm going to do, or otherwise it'll end up just falling apart. So on that note, I'm going to go to the pub because I'm not cooking tonight. So, and the pub is, well, there. Literally, where that hedgerow is, over there. Oh, you can't see it. That hedgerow over there, 
Oh, you can not see over there. There we go, over there. Basically where that tree is, pretty much, on the opposite side of that is where the pub is. So I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna have something to eat, have a couple of beers, chill out for the night, and then start again tomorrow. But other than that, like I always say, take on look like Donald Trump doing that, I shouldn't do that. But other than that, take it easy. Keep adventuring and love you, bye.